So what do we have today? Hey, how you doing, the people? <laughs> What's going on? All right, so we have here a John Milroy selection, three-year-old Stao Isha. I believe it's Stosha. Stosha? I think it's Stao Isha. Stao Isha. Stao Isha. So <clears throat> I think I've butchered Scottish. <coughs> Pardon and me. you think Scottish is somehow phonetically like Japanese. It's, it's, so, it's a mix. So good luck. It's a mix. I still go by Stao Isha. S-T-A-O-I-S-H-A. Heavily peated single cast whiskey. Distilled in 2013, bottled in 2017. This is cast number 216. Wood is refilled barrel. Uh, unchill filtered. Natural color. 56% ABV. No, that's a nice number. So I like that number so a lot. It's an Isla, which it says here. Isla single malt scotch whiskey. Now, while I don't have any particulars, my understanding is, or our understanding is, that this comes from the Bunahaban distillery. Now, this is their peated line. This is the peated line. So while they roll out the Bunahaban and say it's not peated. Yes. Because our Isla, you know... When in Rome, they make a peat of whiskey. There you go. So, they so Johnny, this. tell us, how did we come so, upon this whiskey? This. So we got this whiskey from our very good friends. Yes. The Whiskey Sisters. The Whiskey Sisters. Gabby and Lauren. Yes, Gabby and, Shane and Lauren Mayer. And uh, we were at one of their events. Yes. So this was at the this was the one at the uh, Union Lake. At the Union Lake. A fantastic place to go see something, by It the was way. a fantastic place. We had a nice event there, and uh, you walked away with a bottle as a lovely parting gift. Our good friend Sam gave me a bottle of this. Did he now? So I have a, He's a nice I have an guy. extra bottle of this. That will most likely make it under the so house. So let me get some, let me get something straight. I got a whiskey stave, but you got a bottle of whiskey. Yeah, but eventually the bottle of whiskey will be gone, and you'll always have a whiskey stave. That's true. All right, fair enough. I say <laughs> it's a fair trade. So anyway, this is almost a drag. I and, say it's a drag. And and a while when we we were given the bottle, I did promise Lauren and Gabby that we would review it. You know, nine months later, but a review is a review. Better late than never. It's right. And and I have to say that I really, really like this. I, I liked it then. I, I've enjoyed drinking it down. It was probably about here when I got it. I'm about here now. So let's give it a review. Let's, 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 okay. let's get it down on... You. Let's get it down on digital tape. And for a, a three-year-old whiskey, we found this to be very, very much to our liking. And the amazing thing to me is because it's three years old and there's no artificial coloring to it, mm -hmm. it is very clear. It's very, very light. So it would almost make you think that there wasn't much to it. Nope. And you would be surprised. Very wrong. Well, the funny thing is that at the end of the night, Lauren Cheers. was like, oh, well, you know, thanks for coming out. She was, you know, she was super nice as they always are. And said, why don't you take something? So, and there were like, what, 16 bottles of juice? Yeah, a lot of bottles. And I chose this. Not that the other ones, the other whiskeys that we drank that night and were they, bad. This particular one, though, made a really lasting impression. And they ran from a 3 to a 21-year-old? Something 23 like 23-year-old? And I went with the 3-year-old. Like and you went the 3-year-old, which <laughs> a lot of people would think, a go, for the, well, go for the more years, it's got to be better whiskey. But I think this might have been the whiskey that won that event. It was really something well, different from what we'd ex expected. You know, with the Islas... I remember years ago, we tried, what was it, a 32-year-old Talisker? Talisker, yeah. Maybe. And I just thought it lost mm -hmm. a lot of the character. The, the older it was, the better I liked it because it was less peated. And the less you liked it because it was less, less peated. peated. <laughs> right. I mean, I like more of the character. Like, even with, like, I had a 32-year-old Lefroy. I had a little tiny sample. And it was very good. But to be honest, I'd rather have... The I'd rather have a car chase, yeah, car chase. Yeah. or or a ten year old because it yeah. just has more of that yeah. Isla character. Yeah, I think it loses a lot of what I want from an Isla. You know, sort of like tequila. I like the, I like the silver tequilas better than the añejos and the reposados because I think they lose that that mm -hmm. the agave. They it's lose um, the tequila. It's almost like they're more refined. Yeah, and the and, more and, refined they get, the yeah, less character they have. Yes. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, we forgot. Cheers. Cheers. Slunge. That's just. Yeah. That just smells so good. You know, it's 56. By the way, did you ever think you'd say that? About it's a, about no, an island whiskey. You've dragged me, again, down the rabbit hole. Uh, no, you know what I've done? I dragged hole. you through the peat bog. You dragged me kicking and screaming. Through well, the peat bog. Not so much kicking or screaming. Can we just say peat bog? Anyway, peat bog. I like saying peat bog. Um, you bog peat monster. Bog. So, uh, obviously at 56, the percent ABV, this is going to have a lot of a vapory alcohol to it. But you, you push past that, and I think you find... Very pleasant notes. Just it's, it's just such I a mean, joy. It's just so good. It's, it's just great, really. It, it starts off with the peat. It starts off with that smokiness, like a charcoal, 
you know, like a charcoal briquette. But you work past it, and I think you get like a little citrus. You get some licorice. You get a little bit of sweetness to it. I think you get a little salt, a little brine yeah. from the island. Yeah. I think you, you get a lot of a nice blend of flavors. It smells very complex. And, and as I said before, in this, in, well, in this case, this is definitely, most definitely, not amber. No amber. Not amber. This is, almost looks like it's a watered-down whiskey. It does. Which, but, uh, but quite frankly, not. it is not. not. It is not. All right, I'm going in. It's, it's very smoky at the start, but it's a, but it's a sweet smoke. It, it's not as thick, mm. velvety, kind of a medium feel to it, but it, it's so good. And it, like the, after the first little sip, it's like almost a puff of the smoke that comes out. Mm. When you get the smoke, it, it's really just pleasant, enjoyable. But it, it, the smokiness is almost like a, like almost like a barbecue. Yeah, like a like a mesquite. Yeah, sort it's, of. It's almost like uh, the the balconus, the like uh, the brimstone or the whatever brimstone, it is. Where they read, it's like you have to kind of work past the, the smoke. With the scrub oak. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's, it's just really nice. And again, like once I get past that, then I get I get vanilla, I get a little bit of lemon maybe. Um, I get a little leather, a little oil, a little bit of brine, not a lot, a little bit of brine. It's not a Campbelltown, it's not a Scotia, mm. but it, it's good. It's really is good. And again, for a three-year-old, you know, you see this at five, at seven, at eight, you know, mm -hmm. a little more complexity, a little more color from the barrel. Yeah, but I think you know, it I wonder, that. But I wonder what, how it changes. What, not that I, it's better, just different. What, what I, I really think. want, what I would really want to do is I would really love to try this stuff fresh off the still. Wow. New make. Just out of curiosity. I've only had maybe one or two new makes from like a Scottish distillery. Right. I think I only had one. I had an Alcantosha once. And it was just, it was really good right from there. Right from the start. So, and then just, you know, it gets more flavor, more more complexity from the barrel. And then you went blind in one eye for just a little while and then it came <laughs> back. So that's good. It's back. It's back. It's not never the same, but it's back. Didn't detach a retina though. It's just a really good whiskey. And again, there were 16 bottles at the event, mm -hmm. and this may have been the winner, which at a three-year-old, you know, you wouldn't expect that. You know what? On, on, the, on the back end now, if you let it sit for a little while, I get a little bit of chocolate, like a little bit of a chocolate note, like a cocoa, like a cacao. 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 <laughs> As opposed to cacao. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is whiskey number three. So It's just not good working with this guy. He's got problems. But yes, I really, really like it's just this. Just a real, a real nice peated whiskey. What would you put this with in terms of like a? It's not as temperamental or as angry as some mm. of the peated whiskeys. You mean to to, would you, to to pair with it? Would you would you say that was similar to like a, a Kalila? Would you say this was similar to? Yeah, I would say um, it's along those lines. Like maybe like a, like a younger you know, Kalila, like a twelve. Yeah, it's not as, as, as or maybe even like a like an Arbeg ten. I was gonna say more be like an like a like yeah. the, the alligator, not the query of Reckon. Right, but, but it's like not that charred though. I mean but, it's. It just seems to have like a very yeah. clean, yeah. dare I say crisp, Isla no, character. It's, it's very nice. And at 56, it goes down pretty easy. It's very approachable. It really does. It doesn't really feel like it needs water. No, I don't think so. It's just a very good whiskey. It does. I mean, maybe water would open it up. I don't know. But you know what? I like it the way it is. Yeah. Um, and, but, you know, it comes from Punahapan. And, and they know what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the 12 is one of my favorites. They're it's not like, messing around. No, it's very, very good stuff. Table whiskey? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. So, anyway, shall we sum up? You sum we up? We should sum up. We sum up. Sum up. A lovely whiskey. Many thanks to uh, Gabby Shane and Lauren Mayer, the Whiskey Sisters. Uh, they are Spirit Imports. Spirit Imports. Spirit they imports. roll out the John Milroy as well as some other lines. Yes. And uh, this is really, it's, it's really nice. I really appreciated that they uh, we're so generous at the event, spent so much time with us, walked us through some of the uh, expressions, and mm -hmm. this one particular expression was very, very good. It was. It was. I like it, and I hate to say that I'm really sad to almost see it go. And just just as an FYI, I planned on us finishing it tonight, but you know what? I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to let it rest. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy the last two. Oh, one last thing. By the way, this makes a really nice whiskey sour. Yeah. I like sure. it with the lemon. Lemon, a little bit of sugar and ice. Really, really good. I'll have to have you try it. So, anyway, that is all, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.